So in America, in America, there's over 45,000 mobile home communities, right? I mean, mobile homes are, I tell people, mobile homes are just American as hot dogs. Mm-hmm. Um, and so 4,000 are institutionally owned, meaning corporations own mm-hmm. them. You know, it's, it's larger players really getting to it. Like this year alone, uh, Blackstone put dumped $550 million in the mobile home park industry. Wow. Why? It was the top performing mobile home parks and storage facilities were the top two performing industries during the pandemic. Oh, wow. 100% rent rose. Wow. So, you know, a lot of investors are like, okay, yeah, I, I need to get in that sector. So most mobile home parks are owned, we call them mom and pop parks, right? They're owned, they've been in the family. And so a lot of these, a lot of these people, they, you know, they want to retire. They're like, yo, I don't want the responsibility anymore. Um, the kids don't want it. So as yeah. investors, we're like, yo, let's, let's, let's help, you know. And again, this is how we solve the affordable housing crisis. This is how we, we you know, have our part. And so you're talking about over 41,000 mobile home communities that can potentially, you know, be invested in. And mm. so it's it's like a gold rush right now. I think over the last few years, you've been seeing more major players dive into it. Mm. Um, but for us, one thing is nobody looked like us that was in this sector. Mm. And so, you know, me and my queen, we saw opportunity. And this is the reason why, you know, we wanted to really, really um, start educating people because it's like, yo, we, we know about real estate. We, we know about wholesale. We we what about mobile home investing? Yeah. Let's not forget. Let's get our piece of this pie. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so walk me through somebody. Um, what do you think the least amount of money I, is that I need to get started? Yeah. So the good thing in Georgia, we've had students man buy homes fifteen hundred. You know, anywhere from fifteen hundred upwards to like twelve thousand um, dollars. We've seen returns. Oh man, I, I have to shout out one of our students. She purchased a mobile home for six thousand dollars. She's actually here in Atlanta. Um, shout out Sharita. Where did she buy it at? She bought it. Oh man, I think I want to say it was it Lawrence, Lawrenceville. I want to see. Does she have that home on her Instagram? We have her. I want to uh, see. It. I want to see it. All right, cool. I want to. I want to. Because in my head, maybe I'm. I'm looking at it. I don't know. I want. I want to see what type of what it looks like. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, I got you. Yeah. If you go on our page, nothing but testimonies. Let me, oh yeah. Let me, let me see. find her. Um, but she pays six thousand for it. And um, she was able to flip it. I think went for twenty for twenty three thousand. It was crazy. Let me let me find this one, man. Yeah, I need to see what these mobile homes are looking was, like. Man. Oh man, because I, I don't know if I imagine every over mobile home. It's like um, so. Here's one. It's like a big minivan. You this, know what I'm saying? this is one brother purchased mobile home for seventy five hundred. Sold it for thirteen five in Georgia. Six K mm. profit, eighty percent ROI. That's the inside of his mobile oh, home. Wow, that's right. Man, our, yeah, I'm nice telling apartment. you, our Atlanta people, man, are doing their thing. Uh, let's see. Let me see that. Let me see the outside of one of these mobile homes. Oh, mm. <laughs> too bad, too bad for twenty five. Twenty five hundred. Let's see. I think we had swiped over. Oh, that's it. Do you get um, deals all the time coming to oh, you? Oh man, all the Can time. Can I get one? Man. Yeah, for sure. I mean, honestly, like a, like a like I want a, like a really good oh, deal. Oh, bro, I'm telling you, man. And listen, after they see this, you're gonna get a lot of deals sent to you. I'm telling you, bro. No, no, really? yes. Oh man, what is the headache? Like, why why don't people want this? It seems like so. Easy here's the money. thing: most people think it's saturated. Well, in Atlanta, should I say? Mm-hmm. But they're not we're not across the country, um, and it's not as saturated. We have a lot of people that are in Atlanta that's taking action. I think that what happens is they get tired of getting no's because some parks are like, no, you can't come and do this, mm-hmm. right? Because they had bad experience in investors. Now, here's the thing. As a park can't come owner. Come and do what? Buy more homes? So here's the thing. As a park owner, our biggest fear is somebody coming and buying a home and moving out of our park. Because again, these are mobile homes. You can't drive them, but you can take a truck, hitch it, leave. That spot is going to cost me at least $22,000 to fill up that spot. Why? Because for one, uh, bringing a new home into it, right? I got to find a new home. So hopefully that home is under five. And if, if the house is five grand or so, then it's probably like a 1970 or something that's been sitting there and mm. it hasn't been, never been moved. Also, the transportation, that that can cost me another 5000 or so. I have to prep that land, right? So now, for example, let's say a pad, they damage or anything like that. I now have to prep that land. Um, and so all in those, those costs, it can definitely just... You know, as an owner, you're like, yo, you cut into my margins now. Now yeah. it's going to take me in lot rent. It's going to take me a few years just to get that back. So some parks kind of got a bad taste in their mouth because people have went in there. Because it's, it's funny because it's like the Wild Wild West right now. People are buying parks and guess what? They lack houses. So now they may say, hey, Dave, you know what? You're interested in mobile home investing, right? Well, if you go find me some homes, I'll pay you. 
You're like, oh, okay, no, no, without a doubt. I see this home for sale. But you go into somebody else's park, and now you go get that home. You go, They can go buy it. Even though the park has the, it's called first right to refusal. So if somebody comes to my park, I have the first right to say, no, I can buy it from you. And they'll say, okay, you want to buy it from me? Give me 35K. No. All right, right. cool. I'm out of here. So it's, it's, it's like the wild, wild west. And so, you know, people are, yeah, <laughs> it's crazy, man. Game. Oh, man. It's Which dirty. is another income opportunity. <laughs> if you think about it, like, all right, that, like, I don't know mo- mo- mobile home uh, park. Yes. That, that seems like a, a play right there. It's crazy, man. It's, it's, it's man. But again, our, our Georgia students are killing it. Shout out to everybody in GA that's, that's doing their thing, man. Mm. Give me the most um, challenging situation you've dealt with over these last three years. So, um, so I would say the, for me, the most challenging was um, I had a plumber, this guy, I should have known when I, I had a plumbing job, I had a, uh, and in Chicago, you know, it gets frigid up there, right? Mm-hmm. So we forgot to, we forgot to winterize the home and, um, you know, we had busted pipes and everything. And so the job got quoted, quoted me, quoted me about two grand. All right. I had, a, I had another guy. So I find this guy and uh, he's like, yo, I can do it. I'll do it for 800 bucks. So again, my cheap self like, oh, bro, eight hundred right, bucks, cool. But when I see him, he, you know, he one of these, he he antsy and everything, and I'm just like, okay, I know sometimes they can do good work, you know. So <laughs> I'm like, I may get, I may get bro a chance. Cheap and to the uh, next level. Oh yeah, my goodness, man, this dude, I gave him the opportunity. He's like, yo, I order the supplies, order, ran off with everything, mm. ran off with everything, didn't answer this calls, anything like that. I'm just like, bro, are you serious? And I think in materials, I, I probably paid about like probably $800 in materials. But again, it's, it, so far it hasn't been bad. But again, that, that was just been my, the biggest loss. The biggest loss. I haven't took, I've been blessed to say I have not took a loss. Even a problem home, I know how to make my, our money back on the long run versus, you know, just kind of just being just a total loss. But that's my biggest loss. Somebody running off with the money. Goodness gracious. It really seems like free money. Yeah, oh, Especially because everybody probably got like $1,500, $2,000, maybe not everybody, but mm-hmm. laying around. To yes. Kind of put it in. Mm-hmm. So so you get some really good deals to your, your email, yes. right? That you're not necessarily interested in buying mobile homes right. like that. Mm-hmm. Jose, why you, you got one? <laughs> Did you get a mobile home? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got. You got regular real estate. <laughs> nah, fam. That ain't, that ain't the wave no more, okay? It's all about mobile. <laughs> all right, so I, I, I want to get one. Let's do it, man. I want to get a mobile. Uh, how much management does it take? So the beautiful thing, if you do rent to own, no management, mm-hmm. right? If you provide that, if you're flipping, no management. Or I tell people, you could even wholesale. If you want to go no money in, you can wholesale homes. <laughs> Yo, this is wild. This is so wild, bro. <laughs> so, all right, so walk, walk me through like a wholesale deal. Yeah, so I would tell people you're in a helping business, right? So a wholesale deal is, you know, let's say you, you, you go in a park, you're driving for dollars, see a for sale sign. The first thing I encourage people to do is, you know, call them, see what's up. Um, I always ask people, hey, how are you marketing your home? Is this the only way you're marketing this your sign or what you're doing? Mm. They may say Craigslist, Facebook, okay. Then I'll lay it on the line. Have you tried let go? Have you tried offer up? Have you tried eBay? Have you tried Virage sale? Have, so now they like, no. Okay, cool. Well, listen, I offer a service where I can help you sell your home. I can help you market it free of charge, right? And then I'll take my money on the back end. Now they're kind of interested. Okay, cool. Yeah. So then what's the lowest you'll take for this house? Now they kind of, okay, well, I'll take, if they was listening, let's say it was listening for 10000 I mean, I'll take seven for it. Awesome. So now my job is I can get it. I can get them. Now, most of my wholesale has been verbal, but mm-hmm. I encourage people, you know, you just want to get a purchase agreement. That way you get something on paper. Mm-hmm. Now I'm marketing the house. So I'm going to tell you, go market that house for 15,000. Mm-hmm. Right. Because now you want to make you want to get you some margin, because even if somebody says they'll pay 10, right. you make 3K for it. Right. Yeah, for sure. So now you're marketing, you find some potential buyers. I, I encourage people to at least do like some open houses. Let your let your um, seller know, hey, we're going to bring some people through, learn everything you can about that house so people can ask you. So that way they don't try to look at the seller and be like, OK, when he leave, I'm going to go talk to him. Mm-hmm. Right. And um, and now you got your potential buyer. You um you know you, you want to marry the two so the buyer you, you you agree with the seller I tell people you just need to close with two bill of, two bill of sales and I'm actually giving y'all about 
two thousand dollars worth of game. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. But um, you know, you 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 go to your uh, your seller. You have your bill of, your bill of sale for your seller. Your bill of sale for your buyer. Your seller agreed at seven. Your buyer agreed at um, your buyer agreed at ten. So your buyer, the first thing you do, you make sure you get the title from the seller. I tell them you go ahead and you want to post date a check because you mm-hmm. already know that check gonna clear from your from your mm-hmm. uh, from your buyer cashier's check. Post date a seller. Hey, you are gonna be paid tomorrow? Or so right deal give me give me the title now new bill of sale we agreed to ten thousand. here's your title here's your keys mm. thank you guys we did a wholesale deal wow wow goodness great and it's all in the course <laughs> yeah, like yeah. The, the details in the i, I course? gave them some someone gonna be mad at me man yeah. but you know i got i, I gotta hook them up nah we, we appreciate that yeah so um wow i don't know why people do regular real estate <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no. Well, obviously, it's higher, uh, higher numbers, oh, yeah. higher margins. But for somebody that is, um, you know, looking to like make some investments mm-hmm. and like really flip some of the money that they have, kind of stashed or like this is. I wish I was introduced to this while I was working at the Cheesecake Factory because oh, I come home with a couple hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. You put it aside. It's, it's easier to save two thousand than yes. it is to save, you know, a $20,000 down payment yes. for a house. Uh, it's, it's amazing. Like, uh, we have a queen, her and her husband, we went on live, um, this is about two weeks ago, we went on live and, you know, just I had some people come on live and they was like, oh my God, you guys, course changed my life. Like, since March, we've made 104000 I was like, what? You know, we like, and, and we, we just like, wait, what? They're like, yeah, we made 104000 We We've been doing, we've done over 13 deals and I was just like, and so that's the beautiful thing for us. Like we all tell people, I want you to surpass us. Like yeah. if you got the means to do it, go. Right? There's no competition. Go. And uh, you know, every day we're hearing somebody like, oh yeah, man, I turned you know thirty five hundred into into ten thousand, or I've, I turned sixteen thousand mm. into forty thousand. Because every market varies, right? Because in Georgia, yeah, I can buy a mobile home for six thousand dollars, but in California, that same exact mobile home is going to cost me, let's say San Diego, seventy five thousand dollars, right? Mm. But I can sell that seventy five thousand dollar mobile home for one hundred and forty thousand dollars. So it all depends on your market as well. <laughs> All right, so where are I don't know if I've where are these mobile home parks, man? So in see. Georgia, in Georgia. And yo, can I see a can I see a, a park? Oh, yeah. Because in my head, and just excuse my ignorance, <laughs> I think like it's the dirt road where you see yeah. the rocks a little bit in the grass. It's not a whole lot of grass. I'm gonna show you, you an the, aerial the view of our park, right? So that way you kind of get a better idea of what it looks like. Um yeah, yeah, I need to see that. So here's an aerial view of our park. It is one you bought for one point four million. Yep. One point one. One point one. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Is that is that concrete or is that dirt? Uh, so it's gravel. Gravel, mm-hmm. gravel. Gotcha. Why, we, why we're probably we gonna pave it. We, we might pave it. You'll pave it with like street. Yeah, like we're concrete? probably gonna pave. I think that's inside of our uh, and some of our costs. I think we can go ahead and pave it. Is that a is that an empty lot right there? Yep, empty lot. So we can bring in a home. I think we got a total of two or three empty lots that we can bring new homes into. Wow, this is kind of cool, man. Because you could do some stuff like in the community. Oh man, like if you wanted to, like in that little part right there, mm-hmm. it feels like where kids could play or something like that. Exactly. So that's the thing about bringing value. So um, most mobile home park owners, what we do is, you know, for one, we want to bring in picnic tables. We want to bring in some swing sets, we, possibly a gazebo, right, where they can barbecue at. You want to create – most mobile home parks are, when I tell you, like, the sense of community, everybody knows each other. Mm. Everybody knows each other, right? So when you – when you to bring value, you do things like that, right? Beautification awards. Who has the best lawn and things like that. Like, you just really want to continue giving them a sense of community because, you know, you don't want to just be like, oh, yep. It's a trailer park and forget about it. And you, you'll see some owners who have really forgot about their community. And you can tell when you pull up to it. Right. It's some it's some stuff. you I, I, Again, I remember I was here with Ramon Tooks and he told me about a mobile home park. I go there. I didn't even want to get out of my car. Mm. I forgot what side is on. They told me it was like a bad side. But I was just like, yo, what is this? It was like little Haiti in that thing, man. It, I was like, wow. yeah, no, I'm cool on this one, man. <laughs> I'm cool on this one. Yo, I really, just looking at it, I really feel like, uh, it, and when I, when, I, when I looked at like the mobile home park you just showed me mm-hmm. and kind of just some ideas in my head, I didn't immediately think, wow, I can make some money. Mm-hmm. It, it makes me feel like, yo, I can bring a sense of pride. Yes. 
to an area, uh, you know, probably there might be some, you know, people mm-hmm. that just like mobile homes, but most of those people have lower income. Yes, right? yes, yes. In that environment, you can change the environment and uplift the spirits oh, yeah. of, you oh, know, yeah. the, the people that live there. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and one thing, man, I tell people, like, for really what got me in here, I'm be honest. So, you know, and be, living in Chicago, I saw everybody that didn't look like us buying up our neighborhoods, right? Buying the hood up. And so for me, it was just like, okay, it's a different hood. Mm-hmm. I want to buy up this hood. Yeah. Right? And I want ownership, and I want to be able to bring this money back to my community. And at the same time, I want to have a safe place because, God forbid, something happens to our community and they get pushed out. Now we got a place for you to go. Here's, a, here's, the, here's the fresh start for you. Mobile home park. Wow. Are there certain levels of like prestigious mobile homes? Kinda? Oh yes, San uh, San Fran has a million dollar mobile home park. I want to talk about the homes go for a million dollars. San Diego has a mobile oh. home community, um, million dollars. And I mean, like yes, like if you look up, if you t- Google million dollar mobile home, yes, Elvis Presley lived in a mobile home. And and here's some quick history on it. Mobile homes were originally originally for the wealthy. So the DuPonts, the, the, the Rockefellers, what happened was when they were building a railroad system, they were, they were tired of staying in hotels, right? Mm-hmm. And so they're like, okay, what can we build? So they had Yacht wow. Masters. You see it? <laughs> the $4 million mobile home. There's a $4 million mobile home. Yeah, it's Cali, right? Wow. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Yeah, so they, yeah, they start building these. They start building these things that can move, and um, you know that's how it started. So literally through the '40s, through the '50s, mobile homes were for the wealthy. And um, after World War II, they had so much aluminum left, mm. and so they're like, "What can we do with this?" And that's why if you look at most mobile homes are made with aluminum. So they were bringing the soldiers back, and the government invested heavily into mobile homes. And so that's why we start seeing an influx. And most mobile homes look they're in rural areas like mm-hmm. suburbia. And that's where the, the influx of mobile home parks came from. Goodness gracious. What's the average time it takes to find a mobile home, buy it, and flip it? Mm. So I feel like if you're diligent every day, um, you, I would say you can find a mobile home within, you know, less than a month, you know, two weeks if you're diligent, if you're able to go out and see it. To sell is all about marketing. So we mm. tell you the minute you get it, you begin marketing. You need to bring traffic in. You can get it done in 30 days. You can honestly get it done in 30 days, but I tell people anywhere from 30 at the longest to 120 days. Um, if you get past that park, you, it's something kind of going wrong in your marketing or you didn't do your market research mm. and you put it and you bought it inside of a park that is not desirable for nobody to live in. Mm. Gotcha, you, gotcha. You. Wow, this is this this is a good this is a good business for someone to get started oh, in, yeah. like just on the side in addition to their income. Yes, yes, oh, definitely, you know, and that's that's why so many people like gravitate towards because it it's like, yo, like I've been wanting to get in real estate because that's how I was. I had wanted to get in real estate, but once I lost my job, there goes my mortgage, right? There goes yeah. somebody want to lend me some money. So now it's just like, okay, like I'm pretty sure if I go to the bank or if I go somewhere, I can at least get five to ten thousand yeah. dollars, right? And so, you know, I tell people it's like group economics. Like if you if you got two thousand, your friend got twenty five hundred and this other person go team up. Like, don't worry about the small margins. Just continue building. It's just very lucrative. And we see a lot of people doing that teamwork. Yeah. What what, what do you think the best place right now, based on your experience, mm-hmm. where a mobile home like what's a good state? What's a good city? Man, Georgia. What, Ohio. what cities in Georgia? Um, so I want to I, I remember Lawrenceville. Um I'm trying to think off the top of my head. I wish Lawrenceville, most of the stuff on the outskirts, like even if you, when you start going to like, even like Columbus and you start going around Macon um, and those Savannahs, man, I mean, literally a lot of mobile homes because Georgia has, I don't quote me. I want to say you guys have about 800 mobile home parks. Um, I know they have a map that I, that I have, but yeah, you guys have a, a great amount of communities and you can even go to Alabama or so, but Georgia, Ohio, Illinois, Iowa, um, Florida, Central Florida is crazy, crazy really? man. Florida has over thirty nine hundred mobile home communities. Uh, Texas, the state of Texas, oh, that has the largest, over fifty one hundred mobile home communities. Um, I mean, they're everywhere except 5, for fifty one hundred communities. Yes, yes, the largest fifty one hundred mobile home communities. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, like just like images in my head, I've been through some mobile home communities. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because because I'm I'm thinking at a mobile home, it looks like a uh, it looks like a long 
minivan. Kind exactly of. right. Yeah, it's like a, a long two stretch. The long yep, gray yep. joints. <laughs> but it, that that's a house, and mm-hmm. you could just tell because it has like the skirt mm-hmm. around it. Yes. Yep. The skirting around, and and again, that the skirting just covers up because again, they're mobile, yeah. right? So I mean, most of their wheels are detached, but again, you know that that skirting just cover covers up so the house doesn't get cold or anything like that. Keeps animals from underneath. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, nowadays the new mobile homes, oh man, dude, I tell you, I'm talking, they got upstairs, downstairs mobile mm-hmm. homes. Um, I mean, square footage wise, you know, fifteen hundred square foot, they're crazy, man. I mean, just you could tell the change of what they're doing in, in you know, in mobile homes, and I mean, it's, it's amazing. I'm, I'm curious really to see what this industry is going to look like in the next ten years. Yeah. So, what is, what is your, what is your um, goal now? Obviously, because you've been through the fire, mm-hmm. you've probably um, um, kind of been through all the hiccups, done some stuff wrong, and now you're buying the mobile home parts. Yes. Is is that your major play right now? Just getting as many parks as possible now. Yes, yes. Um, t- you know, twenty twenty one. We said we want ten parks, right? And the reason why we like parks because I almost not to say I got distracted. Uh, I got a buddy named Ron, and what he does is he buys small businesses, right? He does acquisitions. And when he told me that, I'm like, oh, I want to do that, mm. right? I'll skip these mobile homes. And he was just like, yo, be patient, because what you're doing if you buy a mobile home park, that is an acquisition. Yeah. You're buying a business, and I'm like, you're buying money. Exactly. And I'm just like, no branding because it operates itself. Right. It comes. It comes with a staff. It comes with our, our park manager. So we don't it's it's not it's really hands off. And so, you know, I look at it like that's the part of the game. You know, when I look at the the, the, the you know, the Robert F. Smiths and I looked at the Reginald Lewis like they were in an acquisition game. They were buying pre-existing companies. So this is my way to buy real estate companies, which is the mobile home parks that run themselves and continue to build my portfolio. You're right, bro. In terms of like the super wealthy, they mm-hmm. buy businesses. Yes. They buy mm-hmm. stuff that makes money. Yes. Yes. Oh. I need to start buying some of these these like entrepreneurs. There you go. Like yo, Dave, I want to help my okay. All right. Just <laughs> there, give me some equity. Let's, let's <laughs> exactly. Roll with it. Yep. Insane. Who's Who's more in the business, you or your your lady? So we're both in it. Um, you know, I would say I'm more boots on the ground. She's more operational behind the scenes. Um, you know, I t- she's the boss. I tell yeah. her she has she can delegate, delegate, delegate. I'm, you know, if I if I delegate to somebody next, you know, I'll you know I'll tell them I'll end up jumping in hands on and helping. Yeah. She's like, Byron, wait, wait. No, no, no. That's what we paid him for, Byron. And so, yeah. you know, the queen always keep me, she kept keeps me in line. She helps, she continue. If I feel like I can't do it, she's giving me that pep talk to be like, no, you said this is what we're gonna do. Yeah. So this is what we're doing. So, you know, I mean, man, she's my rock man. And, you know, again, we, we're both in it. And uh again, even on the park side, you know, yeah. she she's like, let me see the numbers. You know, if I see something, I could be excited, but she's like, No, no, that's yeah. cool and all, but let me see those numbers. So, yeah. you know, again, she she a big boss, man. You know what? It's making sense now because before we started recording, you were talking to Jose about um, a park course. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. So as you acquire the park, yes, you're gonna start teaching. Yes. Oh, how yeah. to get the park. Yes. Yes. Because that's the next step. Yes. I look at it. Everything I learned, I want to share. Right. I mean, at least put it out there. It's up to the individual. What, what they say, you can't you can lead a horse to, to water, but, you know, you can't let them, you know, well, yeah, force them to can't drink. force them to drink. And that's my thing. Right. I'm going to put the information out there. I'm mm-hmm. going to show you how to do it ex- step by step. But it's up to you. So at the end of the day, I want I want us to have a market share. Right. Mm-hmm. L- last year, uh, shout out my, my, my bro and sis, Jan Samara. They have a, They are another couple that has a program called Trailer Cash Academy. And, uh, you know, both of us, we're the two largest African-American, mm-hmm. uh, you know, instructors of mobile home investing. Wow. So we went to the Mobile Home Hall of Fame in Elkhart, Indiana, and we went together. And that to me, that really meant something. But the wall, it was nobody looked like us. The mobile home hall of oh, fame. Oh man, it's, it's yes, is mobile that? home What's and that? RV hall of fame. So this is where the larger players are, you know, are honored, um, who've really, you know, been pioneers in, in this, in this industry. It's a small industry. It really is a small, it's a tight knit industry. Everybody kind of knows each other. And, uh, so like a big deal when you walk in the room. I guess I'm, I guess now, you know, right, right, right. <laughs> you know, it's funny. A lot of more people, you know, they'll, they'll know who I am. I'm just like, wow. I mean, I'm just still humble. You know, I'm still on this, on this, this roller coaster ride. And, uh, we went there in the whole wall. Nobody looked like us, no black individuals on that wall. Mm. And we was like, yo, we getting on this wall. We're going to knock down the door. We're going to get on this wall. What's required to get on the wall? Um, that 
I don't know, but I think we should be on the wall right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, Insane. Man. You and your, 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 the friend you just talked about, did y'all get in around the same time? Or? Yeah, so they actually started before us. Um, I, start, I think they started about a year before us. And we, again, social media, um, I, I seen a video with them. They probably didn't get on EYL, though. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the cheat code. Right, right, the cheat code. And, uh, you know, I reached out to them. She's like, yo, we seen you guys. And we really, so we ended up talking on the phone. And, you know, I think at the time they weren't teaching, but we was. And we were just like, yo, y'all need to teach this too because mm -hmm. like you know and and i learned so much from them because mm -hmm. they were actually dealers down in arizona so they was giving us game and we was like yo that's dope and it was just like yo no you guys need to teach that too and it's like you know we were thinking about it and we was just like no put it out put it out. let's put it out there and you know i mean they have a heavy youtube presence we have a heavy instagram presence and it's just like you know we we i mean me and bro we talk almost every other day mm -hmm. um and i probably gonna see him this weekend because it's um well next weekend because it's his birthday but you know it was just like you know it was no competition right right Colla let's collaborate and we know what we're doing yeah. and, and, and we we together we've changed so many lives and you've introduced over 3,500 people to yes investing in mobile homes I think more than that I think well following wise I think we're right at like we, all of our platforms right at like 85k um and so a lot of people know about but it how many but 3,500 courses 3,500 courses yes amazing yeah thank you so Yo, there's got to be something. <laughs> Give me the downside. Give the me. Downside. Okay. When you see people, because nothing's 100%. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When you see people not reach success mm -hmm. in mobile homes, I'm what does it why. do to? Not educating themselves, right? They see this podcast. They like, oh, yo, I'm getting into that. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to jump in there. So now here's the things they do. They don't build relationships with the park at times, right? Again, the park is the gatekeeper, yeah. right? I get like me honestly, like it, even my park. Now, I don't want nobody who just watched this podcast and doesn't know what they're doing to come in and try to buy a house. Right. They go honestly. They, I mean, they're not gonna cost me money, but they're gonna cost themselves money and time. And so you know, just being educated on it, um, understanding the importance of relationships. Here's here's the number one thing I see people do. So there are way more mobile homes on private land than there are mobile home communities, right? So people, you're getting more mobile, mobile homes on private land mm -hmm. than there is in, in mobile home communities. Okay, got you. So somebody can just buy some land and put a mobile, put a mobile home. home on there, right? And again, and I'm a, before after this, I'm gonna tell you a cheat code to that as well. So um, again, so a lot that of people must be, that must be in the course. Uh, no, nah, this one I don't. But again, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a hack. Yes, but no. um, so what happens is they'll see a mobile home that needs to be moved off private land, right? And people are like, yo, poop. but they don't have a place to move it. So they'll go buy it. And then they like the people are like, yo, get this off my land. They're like, well, I don't have anything. And so now you you got a big headache because now you're trying to shop this old raggedy thing to mobile home parks. And you're like, we don't want that. So you put yourself in a bind because you didn't know what you was doing. You just saw a thousand dollars or you know, whatever the price was, and now you stuck on somebody, you bought something that's on somebody else's land that they like, okay, if you don't get it, we're gonna get somebody else to get it, and I ain't giving your money back. Oh, so mobile <laughs> home on private land, I buy it, but if I can't find a place to take it, mm -hmm. then I'm just stuck. SOL. Yes. Yes. Wow. We, we, we've seen that, you know, people are DMing us like, and we'll ask them, you got the course? Well, no, no, no. And so I, I'm more. I, I was on that interview. I was on the free <laughs> webinar. Yo, yo, first off, you cannot get rich off of webinars. Facts. You have to buy whatever they're selling at the end. Okay. Just be very, very clear. Okay. I'm sorry. That's no, not hey, no, that's a, and that's a fact, though, you know. And, and, you know, we see that it's just more just not, just not knowing, you know. And it's not the fact. I tell people, if it ain't my program, if it's not my bro and sis program, if it's like, just get educated on it, right? That's it. Like, I, I don't mind. Like, if you tell me you invested in something, cool, but just get educated on it. And, uh, you know, that's 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 one thing I really see people make, you know, big mistakes on mm. is buying that home. Because I'll tell them, like, if somebody's selling on private land, offer them, ask them how much they're going to sell you that, I mean, the house and the land for. Yeah. Now you ain't got to worry about that. And the reason why I tell people the hack is buying mobile homes on land, because here's the thing. Mobile homes on land is considered real estate. Mm -hmm. Mobile homes inside of a mobile home community is personal property. Mm -hmm. So the difference is when it's real estate, I can go comp it. So let's say it's some houses up the street selling for $200,000. Mm -hmm. I can go put my mobile home on my acreage of land on $150,000. Mm. I can go comp it. How much is it to build a mobile home? 
So mobile homes, they're built in a factory that the I would say to actually build. You gotta build it, then get it moved there. Give it shipped. So that's the thing about mobile homes. The reason why they're not, so mobile homes are kind of regulated, and here's the reason why. Mobile homes actually threaten builders. Because here's the thing, right? You got things like unions, you know, like construction, new construction, everything is built from the ground up. Mobile homes are built inside of a factory, like an assembly line. Mm. You're right. They, they're, they're put together. And then it like, I think Clayton homes, that's one of the largest Warren Buffett owns Clayton homes, by the way, mm. one of the largest, they can, some of their facilities can crank out 30 homes a day. Plus Dang. 30 oh. homes, a, a whole home, right. Put together in a day. And I mean, again, they're, they're regulated, HUD regulated and everything, but it's assembly line, just like a car. Mm. They got a system, put them up, gone. Right. That threatens, that threatens builders. Because if I can crank all these out, why do I need y'all building yeah, houses, right? Right, right? But America doesn't want a bunch of mobile homes all over the place. So um, it's, it's, it's kind of regulated. Like last year, it was over 19,000 mobile homes that hit the market. Um, and so the biggest thing is, you know, again, to normally, like I said, to the cost that I wish I don't have the exact answer, but normally when they're brand new, um, they're as low as, depending on, let's say, a single wide, a brand new single wide, depending on the market, as low as 40,000. Mm. Okay, so if I find a land, like uh, actually, we was looking at some land one time, and it was like five thousand dollars, mm. right, for the land. Mm -hmm. But then some some uh, some real estate people they kind of like made me nervous. They like you got to test the land for you yeah, build yeah. on because I'm thinking if I get this land, I could build a house. Exactly. But it's not as easy as just building a house. Right. But if you get some land. All you have to do is prep the land to mm -hmm. put the mobile home on, right? Yep. Get it zoned. Um, you know, go to the municipality and get it zoned. Normally, just a mobile home takes about 6,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. That's all you need, 6,000 square feet. Um, and, you know, had an electric company come out, put a pole for electric, had a gas come out, right? Set up the gas. That's, that was all you need. Now, most mobile homes on land, if you want it, they say secure. It depends on how hard your land is. Um, but they always, they always encourage to put uh, concrete down, pretty much a concrete slab. Mm -hmm. A lot of mobile homes are sometimes about 40, about four, anywhere from 40 as long as like like 53 foot long. Um, but just not like, in a park though, right? In a park? Yeah. Yeah. Are they long? And then, and then I'm talking uh, about like they don't put concrete slab. Oh, yeah. So most of them, so most mobile homes, they're under actually is concrete slab under there. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. And so, you know, they once you prep that, um, yeah. Once, and the reason why they have that on there because it's easier for the truck to just move it on there, yeah. let go. They go ahead and set up. And when they say set up, set up is basically tying it down right to some stakes. Mm -hmm. They get it in the ground, put the skirting around it, all the hookups, water hookups, you know, gas, electric. We in business. Gotcha, gotcha. So, but right now it's easier to just buy a home than build from a you know bottom. Oh, land it's or... way easier to buy a mobile home and get it moved on there. Gotcha. Yeah. Any? Do you have any in your community that's new for sale? Um, so our new community, um, yes. Yeah. So the one we just, we're, we're going to be closing on, we have, it's, it's a total of three communities. I think all in all we have. Well, you are closing on three kind of simultaneously. Yes. Yeah. We got is, a package is deal. Is it all yourself or you got? We got a team. Um, so this, this last one was four of us. Mm -hmm. Um, the one before it was five of us. So that's the biggest thing. Group, group economics. Good, group good, economics. Good. Yeah. So you have some available on your the uh, the new one, yes, and I and I, sh I I'm gonna send you those once we yeah, once because again once once we go ahead and close, you should be closing today. Can I get Actually, that? I got you, bro. How I got you, okay, bro. how much how much are they? So here's the thing, here's the thing. I'm gonna go on and I know my partner gonna be like, what? I'm gonna give you a free home, bro. I'm gonna get home. I'm gonna give you a free home. I really? promise, I'm gonna give you a free home. And we just gonna find the staff. I got you. I'm gonna give you a free home, bro. Oh I, man! I understand yo. how I understand how it is. And I'm uh, officially gonna be like the number one cheerleader. <laughs> You'll make way more money. I can get them. I can get them all. I'll give you oh. a free home because we have again. That's as investors. That's what we want to do, right? And as what I tell people is the advantage of us. What we have is we have the people. Mm -hmm. And if you, as, if we grow together, when I say grow together, is if I we allow people to come in and invest, and then allow them to provide somebody for affordable housing it's a win-win the family wins the investor wins we win and that's what it's about and most mobile home park owners they don't think like that what they think is not to say scarcity but they're like okay we got to police it you know we got to be okay who, who we let in our community mm -hmm. no don't let those investors in because they may snatch out our home you just lay down the law mm -hmm. so, no you cannot move this home out of here yeah. okay and hey listen you come in here's some free lot rent Take a month or two free lot rent, get this house up, and then help me find a family in there. Because the long-term goal is to make money. 
And that's dope because, like, you're going to get the lot rent regardless. Regardless. Wow. Yep. That is awesome. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. All right, look, I want to get on the next lot y'all. Well, I got you, yeah. Let me, figure out, let me get my feet wet in the mobile home I space. I got you, man. Yo, that is awesome, and man. Listen, I'm if, so excited. And, and listen, and if it's not in PA, if you want a closer one, I just came back from North Carolina. Shout out my my, my family, uh, Dedrick, Polite, and Crystal. But I just left North Carolina, and we're looking at a 25 unit together. Ooh. So I what think- What part of PA? Uh, no, uh, well, PA is Greensburg, PA. It's right outside of Pittsburgh. Okay. And then um, in North Carolina- um, we're right in that Raleigh dorm area. Mm, that's dope. That's dope. Mm-hmm. So 10 lot, 10, what's it? Mobile home lots, land. What's it called? Oh, parks. Parks. Yeah. yeah. 10 parks in 2021. Oh, yeah. Going you're going to do it, man. I appreciate you, And I you, think man. you're going to do it, one, because um, I can tell you're passionate. Appreciate you, man. Two, like, your intentions are in the right place. And, like, Thank people you. can get people get, get, get behind somebody Thank who you. knows that they have their best interest in oh, yeah. You know Thank what I'm you. saying? Thank you. Thank and like, you. you don't come here flashy and all yeah. that. Like, you are run up, like your, your flight came in and he was like, what do you say? He's like, man, I'm so sorry, man. Just, I'm like, it's all good, bro. I don't got nothing hey, else to do. I respect time, man, you know, and again, you know, it's just, it's always an honor, you know, and, yeah. and, and uh, you know, I think uh, it's, it's so cool because uh, in the same room, EY had their, uh, had their event and I remember coming up to you. And again, I know you probably, you know, you, you, you things are going on. Because matter of fact, I think you had the event with E.T. like right afterwards. Mm-hmm. Like it was like the next day or so. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I know yeah. you had to get things. I'm like, yo, bro, I just want to tell you. I didn't even say my name. I was just like, yo, bro, I just want to tell you. Salute, man. I'm glad, you know, I appreciate what you're doing. You're like, man, thank you, bro. And I knew, like, I'm going I'm to see bro again. I'm going to see bro again. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Goodness gracious. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, cool. So I, I, I know you just came into town. You got some, cause some work going on, mm-hmm. but... Um, let the people know how they can uh, get in touch with you, man. Yeah, for sure. So for one, man, uh, follow us on Instagram or Facebook at Mobile Home Elite Investors. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, MH Elite Investors. There's so much free content. I tell people, watch every free thing we have. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to sell you. Just watch everything. And then if mm-hmm. you like, I need more then you go ahead and invest in your education um, and then you go on our website, www.mobilehomeeliteinvestors.com. Um, you know, reach out to us, um, you know, via on DM and on Instagram or on Facebook. And, uh, you know, normally we respond to our DMs. So so it may take, a, you know, some days we kind of get backed up, but we actually respond to you and you'll get a voice message from me most of the time. Oh, wow. Dang, that just made me feel bad. Yeah. I'm, I'm so bad. <laughs> Bro, I'm hundreds in the hole right now. It's just they, you, though, though, They right? just start piling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, me and my girl, we tag team. She, that's, again, she the boss. Byron, Byron, it's 20, it's 20 DMs. Come on now. I'm, mm. Okay, all right, babe, all right. So we, we go ahead and tackle them. I'm step my game up. <laughs> I'm talking to my queen. Y'all it need is? you helping. <laughs> <laughs> See how his queen be helping him out? I need you help Nah, she, she does it. Um, so. No, nah, all right. So, nah, but thank you so much. Oh, uh, and then you. gather some words of wisdom that you can leave with somebody. Oh, and also, mm-hmm. we like to make predictions on the podcast. Nice. So... Um, I'd like to know where you see yourself and your company, both professionally and personally, mm-hmm. uh, in the next five to 10 years, mm-hmm. so that we can look at this video and say, yo, Byron said next oh, five to 10 years, he's gonna be here. I love it, I love it. So in the next- and Be careful, because I said personal too, and your, your girl might be watching this. Oh so yeah. She might- you well, baby, you, baby, this. you gonna have a ring, okay? okay. You gonna have a ring, okay? We gonna get the word. dream I wedding. Get too far. <laughs> but no, no, definitely, you know, a husband, a father. Um, you know, that's that's definitely important to me. Um, How you old know, are you, bro? I'm 35. Wow. Yeah, 35, and uh, that's awesome. I thank you. So, a husband and father, you know, that that's really, you know, um, one of the things. And I, um, you know, I also retire my retire my mother and father. My dad is already retired, but he likes still working. I don't mm. know, you know, I he can't sit down. Um, I'm. I'm my father 2.0 and then I'm retiring my mother um also you know it's just on the on the business side um I, I see us I see us being in the top 100 of as far as mobile well actually I'm gonna say it's top 50 um as large as mobile home park mm-hmm. owners I see us being the largest African-American mobile home park owners in the country my and also a minority group um and and, and I'll say we're gonna have 50 plus communities um, in the next and within the next five years um, and in 10 years, you know, I'll be I'll be 45. Um, you know, I, I think I'll be just going, you know, traveling around, just just speaking life into people, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're going to be on tour together. Let's get it, man. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get it, man. <laughs> well, get, get some words of wisdom together, man. Um, I want to let you guys know that this podcast is sponsored by The Morning Meetup, themorningmeetup.com, the only community where entrepreneurs gather every single morning to 
start, grow, and build a community around entrepreneurship. So literally we have between 120 and 150 entrepreneurs that join every single day, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So go to themorningmeetup.com and just start a trial for $1. Just see if you like our community or not. I'm on there every single morning. And um, like we have just a whole host of guests, amazing speakers. Like this month, we're all on um, content creation. So oh, every dope. single day, like Jose been teaching the camera setup that's and how to good. brand yourself, all content creation. So uh, we have an amazing community. So make sure you go to themorningmeetup.com. And this podcast is sponsored by Mobile Home and hey, Investors. Yes, sir. I need you to <laughs> click the link below and get in this game with me. I'm going to post my deed when I get it. All right. So I need you to click the link. Get in the game. I, yo, know, just this conversation, it really just opened my eyes and put me back in a place of working at the Cheesecake wow. Factory where if there was an opportunity where I can invest 1500 mm-hmm. and even flip it to 5000 or 3000 yes. like that would be incredible. Oh, so yes. um, let's, let's, let's learn together. Let's grow together. Yes. And uh, Byron, please, man, close us up. Yes, for sure, man. So first and foremost, the biggest thing you got to do is believe in yourself. Um, if anybody, you know, the, here's the thing. I just did a podcast yesterday talking about friendships and friendships are very key. And I would not be anywhere in my life without the new relationships that I created. And so what I mean by that is if you believe in yourself, you can show up to any room, any room. And if you show up as your authentic self, they're going to take you as you are. And if you bring value to that room and what I mean by value, you can be like, what about value? What do you do? Great. What can you bring that's great to the room that you can bring value to other people? You bring value. You build relationships, your net worth will increase, guaranteed. So you truly got to believe in you first. Be willing to do the work on self. Um, and, man, it'll take you anywhere. You can't close it out no stronger than that. Make sure you go follow my boy on social media. Let's get in the course. Is there, like, a group, uh, like a group of, like, Facebook group or something like so that? So we do have a Facebook group as well. Um, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, a community. We charge $20 a month because we mm-hmm. want serious investors in there. Yeah, sure. um, we have over four. We had over 400 people in there, and we ate deep in Georgia. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's just, it's a huge camaraderie. I love it. Every day we post a new deals in there. So it's, it's man, it's amazing. It's an amazing community. I love it. I can't wait. Man, I Let's can't wait it. to see you guys in the group. All right? Peace.